Hello cuties, and today I'll be going through and ranking all the festivals or holidays or whatever you want to call them in Stardew Valley. Uh, of course, I'll be going through based on my own preferences, which ones I've enjoyed the most over my five years of playing Stardew Valley. Um, so it's all going to be completely subjective stuff, but yeah, let's hop right into it. All right, the Egg Festival. Egg Festival is pretty iconic is one thing that's about it for sure. Since it is the first holiday, I feel like they're like of all the holidays, I feel like the Egg Festival and the Flower Dance have like the most jokes and memes around it. The Egg Festival after the first year though is pretty uneventful, but for the first year it is really fun and it's sort of fun to like optimize your egg catching route and like you have to beat Abigail. The dialogue's not particularly interesting and nothing really about the event is interesting besides the egg, egg of cunt. The egg hunt. But the straw hat is like one of my favorite hats in the game. So I'm not like crazy about the egg festival, but it is pretty iconic. So I want to put it in like high B tier. What also like once you get good at the egg festival, it's like nothing. Like there's no like challenge to it anymore. You know what I mean? Oh wait, the egg festival also you buy strawberries at, which I feel like puts it in A tier. Yeah, because you get the most profitable crop. Like the egg festival is not really an event you can skip because of the strawberries. Otherwise, it would be in B tier for sure, but because of the strawberries, I feel like you have to put in A tier. All right, Flower Dance. Flower Dance also has a shop, but all they sell at the Flower Dance is Rare Crow, I think. Though it is a cute Rare Crow, the little farmer girl. I mean, the Flower Dance is very iconic, I think. Like, it's just sort of like the, uh, the struggle to get, like, somebody to dance with you and your disappointment the first year when nobody will. Like, your very first time when you're so convinced that they'll, like, it's a game! Clearly they'll dance with me. Like, that's just how the game's programmed, and then, like, you go and ask every single person, even, like, the people you don't like, and you're like, well, I guess, let's, <laughs> let's see if Shane wants to dance with me. Shane's like, fuck off. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I guess I could try Elliot. And then it's like, oh, I think I'll be dancing with someone else. And you're like, damn, I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel right now. <laughs> and then in spring two, when you finally get to dance with someone, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'll put in A or S. Somewhere between A or an S. Probably S, because it's fun to dance every single year. I wish you changed into the same outfits as everybody else. I, that would make the event, like, be even better, but it's still S. It's not like the bottom of S tier, though. Honestly, Flower Dance might be A. Yeah, it's like fun, but it's like, it's also like you do it twice and you're like, okay, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll put an A. It's not like the best event ever. It's a pretty good event, though. All right, the Luau. Luau is like one of the worst events. I like hate the Luau. The di everybody's dialogue is like very uninteresting. Maybe it's like C tier. I guess it's nice because you get like friendship points if you go. So I guess you don't like skip the Luau every year. But like the governor is like pretty annoying. The only cool part about this event is like just putting the shorts in the soup. Everything else is just like whatever. And they did do Harvey so bad on the Luau. I remember when I was married to Maru and he's like asking if he, me if I should lather her up. And I was like, okay, I'm going to take out my gun now, Harvey. <laughs> the Luau I go to out of obligation because like you need the points with everybody, but I would, I would actively prefer to not go to it. And if I miss it, it's not the end of the world. I'm like, okay, whatever. I feel like it's either the weakest event or the second weakest. It might be an F. I'll put it in C for now though. Dance in the Light Jelly is my favorite event. Without a doubt, Dance in the Moonlight Jellies is like the best event in the game. First of all, it happens at night, so it doesn't burn your entire day. So you can just go at like 10 p.m. You have like the whole day to yourself to do whatever you want, and then you go to the Dance in the Moonlight Jellies at the end. And then time stops, so you can do whatever you want the whole day. Like, I hate losing a day because of the festivals. That's why I don't go to most of them. But Dance in the Moonlight Jellies, it happens so late that you're able to just like do whatever you're gonna do, plant your plants or whatever, this, that, or the other thing. And also, like, it happens on the last day of the season, so you're probably not doing that much anyway, you know what I mean? But yeah, Dance of Moonlight Jelly is definitely the best event in the game, um, or holiday, I guess I should be calling them. I cry, like, every time. Just, like, the music combined with, like, the way the jellyfish move, and the way everyone's just standing there. I don't know, I cried, like, twice on stream watching that. It's so emotional, and so sweet, and romantic, and the fact that your significant other, or your, uh, spouse will sit, stand next to you during it and you guys look at the jellyfish together oh i'm a little i'm a little goo pile i turn into goo every time that happens this is like jelly is definitely the best event in the game no question fair is a really good event as well fair is also in the s tier the grand display is fun um there's a lot of like unique dialogues there's a lot of like different fun games you could play you get a star drop there so that alone makes it cool you get a cool rare crow there isn't this don't you get the uh raccoon rare crow here Oh no, you, oh you get the uh, who's that movie? Who's that movie guy? Ah uh, yeah, Howl's Moving Castle. 
That's a cool, that's a cool rare crow too. I don't like it better than dancing in like jellies, but it is a lot of fun. Spirit Thief sucks. Um, you get the golden pumpkin, which is fine, but besides that, I'm like, whatever. It's definitely better than the Luau. You know, just now that I'm thinking about it, like Spirit Thief is definitely like a C tier event. The Luau is like an- Oh, but Spirit's Eve might go up because you don't burn a day. Like, it just happens at 10 p.m. So that's kind of nice about it, I guess. But even still, I don't even really care. I'm getting the Golden Pumpkin is nice because it's basically like getting like a Prismatic Shard, which is kind of appreciated. I think the Luau is definitely worse, but Spirit's Eve is pretty bad. Festival of Ice sucks, too. I don't like the Festival of Ice really, either. It goes up because you get like the my favorite hat in the game. You get like the Sailor's Hat from that event. And I guess it's fun because you can, uh... You gotta go fishing. Oh, wait, and you get a rare crow. I feel like the Festival of Ice is the most forgettable event. But you do get, like, the coolest hat in the game. I love the little sailor's cap. And the sailor's cap looks so cute on your horse or your baby. But it is so forgettable. It's just like you go fishing against Pam. Like, who gives a sh**? I've never lost that event. I've, like, admittedly lost the Egg Festival a couple times. I have never lost the Festival of Ice once. I guess I'll put it in B. I don't know how I feel about that, actually. I guess, and also, burning a day in winter is not that bad. Burning a day in winter is, like, nothing compared to burning a day in spring. I can't fish, so it's F to me. Well, I, that's more on you. <laughs> like, do I just go to the Festival of Ice because it's winter, or do I go because it's actually fun? I think I just go because it's winter. I think if the Festival of Ice happened in summer, I probably wouldn't go. But it doesn't. It happens in winter. I still think it's probably better than the other two. Okay, the Night Market. Honestly, the Night Market was added in the update after I started playing. So, like, I don't remember it that well because it was not in, uh... When did they add the Night Market? Yeah, they added it in 1.3. And I really played a lot in, like, 1.1 and 1.0 uh, and 1.1. So I'm not super familiar with the Night Market, quite honestly. I know you can get free coffee and catch the blob fish which is cool but a lot of people in chat seem to really like the night market i don't even really know what happens at the night event but people in chat are kind of going crazy for it so that leads me to believe that it's actually like a fun event blob fish is pretty cool i honestly like never do the night market i don't really understand maybe like someone in chat is going to explain to me like why you would go to the night market it doesn't really seem like there's anything here that would make me go all three nights so that's if you needed to catch the blob fish night market s tier you get a pearl at the mermaid dance and some sick paintings what does a pearl do what do you do with it? You can trade it for a double bed and sells for 2,500. I mean, cool, I guess. Find passes during the night market event and you have to go catch a bunch of annoying fish. I don't know. I'm not really seeing the, I'm not really seeing the appeal here, guys. I know you're all, everybody in chat's going crazy for it. I don't really get it. I don't get it. This is like a B tier event to me. Maybe it's just cause I'm like a gen one or of Stardew. Family March is there for the three days in a row, which is handy. Mermaid show for the pearl free coffee and deep sea fishing. You get a single free coffee, right? It's not like you get an unlimited free coffee. You get like one free coffee. Coffee merchant sells one cup per night. Okay, so you get a single coffee. People are going crazy for a single cup of coffee. That costs, like, what, 300 gold? I'm not seeing the appeal behind this. I'm putting this in B tier. Like, I believe you guys that it's useful in some fashion, but nobody has any evidence, so... Because nobody can say that it's useful other than the fact that you get free coffee. Which, if you're in winter of year one, and you don't have 300 G to spend on coffee at the at Gus's, then you should delete your save file. <laughs> like, <laughs> then you are not a good Stardew player. Feast of the Winter Star. Feast of the Winter Star is very cute. I always like it. I'm not crazy about it. I feel like everybody has like really sweet dialogue though. It's just like a really fun way to end off the Stardew year, I feel like. Plus you can get like mad uh, friendship points with someone, but if you get assigned like a bad Secret Santa that you don't care about, you're like, fuck. Like, oh great, let me get, like I got my first time ever playing this game, I got Pam as my Secret Santa. And I was like, okay, cool. Now I get to be friends with Pam. I guess I'll wrap up a pale ale. And then you don't even get like a cool gift usually. I mean, the coolest thing on this list that I'm seeing so far is a Neridian bar. Everything else is like, whatever. It's fine. It's a cute event. I like going to the shops and stuff. Um, and everyone has like really sweet dialogue and everyone's in a good mood. Probably like high B tier. Nothing in F tier. I don't think so. I mean, I'm thinking about doing this maybe, but I just feel bad. Like, it's not like... These aren't like F tier events, you know? But Spirit's Eve is definitely not an F tier because you don't have to skip a day to go do it. And Luau is- I don't want to put it in F, but I, if I made this like D, then I would feel fine putting it in there. Like, it's not like an F tier event, like, it's still like fun, you know? It's fun to see Emily dancing and sh- I'll put it in like D tier. Dancing with my jellies, I cry at like every single year. I don't think it's even close. Like, I would probably put Dancing with my jellies- I could probably honestly do like an SS, if I'm being honest. Yeah, Dancing Willy Jellies is pretty good. And have you guys heard of Concerned Ape's cover that he's done on his like grandmother's guitar? Here, let me play it for you guys. It 
It's such like a beautiful mallet. Also, I never noticed this. he has a Krobus plushie in the back. He's so cute. It's funny that summer has both the worst event and the best event. I did that backwards, but you know what I meant. I guess spring has the best events. Change night market. You nobody has made a good case for the night market at all. Not a single person has made a good case for the night market. You just said you can catch fish. Okay, cool. I don't care. I don't care. Their mermaid show is cute, though. I don't remember the mermaid show. This is the only only thing that somebody has said besides free coffee. <laughs> okay, so if this does not convince me, then I don't know what to tell you guys. Excuse me! I have never seen this before. That was pretty cool. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> that was pretty cool! I'm not gonna lie. I'm a sucker for songs. Also, she thick. She thick. I will be taking no further questions at this time. I started a new farm debating on Harvey or Shane. To marry, what's your opinion? Harvey. <laughs> I, I, he's, he's, you should go for Harvey. Like, you, you should, you should go for Harvey, I think. Hey there everybody, thank you so much for checking out the video today, I hope you all enjoyed it. I just wanted to take this time at the end of the video to announce something really, really cool that's gonna be happening to me very soon. You may have heard, but Concerned Ape announced on his Twitter the other day that he'll be hosting a $40,000 Stardew Valley speedrun competition. He has invited 16 Stardew Valley content creators and split them into teams of four, and I'm lucky enough to be one of those people. Here's the full trailer now. So yes, this is really exciting and so cool, and I hope you all come check it out. It's going to be like one of the biggest things that will ever happen in the Stardew Valley community, so I really hope you'll come check it out and support us all on all our different teams. Some of the biggest content creators in the Stardew Valley space will be there, and me, so come watch me on my Twitch channel September 4th, 9am Pacific Standard Time, or 12pm Eastern Standard Time. Come help support my team, Pam's Yams. I really appreciate you all. This is such a cool opportunity, and I just want to thank you all for getting me here. So yeah, I will catch you all next time. Thank you so much. Bye.